my vlog my name is Morgan Bon on Don on Instagram if you are new here and we are officially in Arizona we are in Phoenix right now we flew into Phoenix at 6 a.m. this morning had an early morning flight had the beautiful view of the sunrise from the window but I was nice enough to forfeit a window seat so I could sit next to this guy which I guess was okay um, but so excited we just rented a car we're driving there have a little bit of a headache and I'm a little bit of a little bit tired so we got these almond milk cold brew foam drinks. I'm definitely saying that wrong. Almond milk cold brew foam. With cinnamon cold almond brew milk. almond milk foam. <laughs> but really excited to be here. It is our official one year anniversary celebration to take this trip, just get a change of environment by ourselves. Um, we got an Airbnb. Everything has been super safe as far as precautions go and we haven't taken a trip together aside from going home to visit my family. So really excited to be doing this together and our first time in Sedona. So excited to take you along for the ride. Around here in like the parking lot, so we're already obsessed with this place, and this city is so beautiful. Obviously, I showed a lot of the scenes in the videos, but we were just in awe the whole time. And it is a perfect day, it's perfect weather, and this place is totally my vibe, and I'm starving and I cannot wait to eat. Outside, maybe? Yeah, for sure. Yes. Oh, oh my hard. god. Dining in? Oh, dining in, yeah. Whoa. Just a couple menus for you. Can we sit outside? Absolutely. Right out, all the way back down to the left is our garden food for us. Garden. Oh my god, it's so cute. Wow, I'm obsessed. 
Okay, so here's the menu. This place sounds so good. <laughs> Ready to eat? gluten and soy free so I'm actually getting the quesadilla because it sounded so good and like something totally different but I also kind of want the green goddess salad so we'll probably come back at some point and we got the spring rolls Honey, you're home. You know which one it is? It's this one. This bottom one? I think so. How cute this little sitting area. Wait, I think this is the front door. Okay, so just checked into our Airbnb. I'll give you guys a little tour. First of all, it also smells like Palo Santo. Like it smells so good. The vibes in here are so good. I love it. It's really cute and I'm just gonna show you around. Okay, so kicking off the little Airbnb tour is this living area. It's so cute. They even have tarot cards and some games and it just has this perfect little kitchen area. I just love how it's decorated and it smells so good. Like I said, I think they saged in here before. Has a kitchen, we're gonna go grab some groceries at some point. Really good, just like lighting. It has a full length mirror, which is like, of course, something that makes me happy. This is the bedroom, it's just decorated, it's so cute. Bathroom. I think this might go to a garage. Yeah, that's that's nothing. Yeah, this is our little flat and can't wait to stay here for the next few days. It's really cute, babe. You did a good job. Just took a shower and even these towels are like so Arizona and so cute, this clay color. And I just did my skincare routine, but I wanted to show you guys, I have never used this product. I've used the Bum Bum Cream, but I've never used the Coco Cabana Cream, and it smells so good. It's like the cutest little travel size. I think I got it as like a Sephora gift, so I brought it with me because I could brought all my travel size things, and I just wanted to show you this to you guys because it seriously is a dream. But yeah, I'm just gonna get ready. We have a few hours till dinner. We have dinner at seven. Um, so that's what's going on. We're just chilling and napping. Okay, so just tried to nap complete fail. I am a terrible napper in general, but Will is still sleeping, but dinner's at seven, so I'm just gonna start getting ready. Um, I love the outfits I packed, but the sun is setting, so I'm hoping we can still take some good pictures tonight and stuff, but I'm really excited. We're going to a place called the Hudson that I've heard really good things about. It's just like really good American food. I'm craving like a giant salad of just like greens and chicken and like whatever, so we'll see what end up getting but 
it's gonna be a full week of like really nice date nights we're going like different types of dinner vibes every single night so looking forward to that um especially because will was gone last week during our actual anniversary so these dinners are gonna be pretty special to celebrate but yeah i'm really excited and i'm just kind of going over my hair and gonna do my makeup and yeah i think tonight we're gonna pass out because we got up so early we're so tired um but i just like i said i'm a terrible napper but i was also like posting on my phone so i know that doesn't help but it feels so good to be here i'm just so happy to be here okay i'm almost done my makeup look i don't know actually this lighting is pretty good in here compared to my bathroom at home it's like way darker I just have to do lips and eyelashes and then I'm done and just like fluff it all out. But it feels so good putting makeup on and getting ready right now. I feel like I put makeup on for shoots, like when I have to shoot content, but I haven't like put makeup on to do something in a while. So it feels really good. Here is my final makeup look. What's wrong? What? What's wrong? <laughs> I'm not recording, don't worry. Time to wake up. No! <laughs> so this is what I'm wearing to dinner. This is a blouse from Revolve, the brand State. My Eagle jeans that I basically live in. And then I'm deciding between which boots. So these are both Mark Fisher. But I think if I wear the white ones, I need to unroll it. It was a landslide victory. You guys helped me choose. Okay, this is the final look. I decided to wear my hoops and I went with the brown boots because I asked on Instagram because hoops I couldn't decide. <laughs> hoops and boots. Asked on Instagram because I couldn't decide and you guys like landslide victory chose the brown one. So we're all set. This is it. There he is. Giving the camera the old once over. <laughs> okay. Put it to dinner now. Got a spicy marg. Cheers, baby. Cheers. guys day two and today we are gonna hike we're gonna go to the vortex at cathedral rock which i heard it was everyone's number one or like number two hike so really excited about this one because i've heard such amazing things i am wearing my kalia by carrie power sculpt set will really hold me and be really supportive for this day um and i'm just gonna layer it up with the tank top and a really cute turtleneck sweatshirt that i got from them and right now we are just cooking breakfast so this is the start to the morning, and today more adventures are to come. Cathedral Rock, which I said we're doing today, as well as Devil's Bridge were our top two recommendations. So definitely doing both of those, and then the other ones, I think we're just kinda gonna explore, see what's up. Well, actually, because he's jet lagged right now, went on a morning hike to a place that's like really close to our, where we're staying. Um, so I know that there's a lot of trails nearby, so I'm really excited, because I don't get an opportunity to hike often. Okay, I'm gonna wear my high socks today so that I can hike in them. My tie-dye ones from Mayfair that I love. And then and then this is going to be the layering piece I wear. It's by Kalia by Carrie Underwood. I actually have it in pink from last year. It's the Cloud Mock Neck Pullover and it's in the most beautiful color blue that if you know me, it's my absolute favorite color. So excited to layer this on top. And then for hiking, I've never hiked in these boots, so. We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping for the best, but I had these boots from Roots last year. Um, so I'm going to wear these, and I think I'm going to bring my sneakers with me. I brought training sneakers um, just to be safe, but we'll see how these go. And then I have the socks to layer with it. So going for a blue vibe today, and I'm into it. Um, got 
some siete tortillas, some breakfast taco action. Thanks, babe. He's got the short shorts on. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> zooming in. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so cool. It's go time. Look how cute we are in our little Nike socks. I guess that's a different trail completely. Right? Sweet. So we're starting on Cathedral Rock. We'll see you on the other side. Local juicery was hands down the best place we've been so far. It was so good. We got avocado toast with like a vegan, I think, chipotle crema on top with eggs and smoothies. We had a matcha one and a mint chip one. And I got these cocoa PB bites. I'm super excited to try. We got some cookies and we got some juices to go. Okay, so I just figured I would talk about the hike in here um, while we just pulled up. So today is actually 11-11, so there's a whole 11-11 portal going on spiritually, which is amazing for us to have hiked that day and gone to the vortexes at Cathedral Rock today. Just like perfect alignment, um, which I couldn't ask for any better. And there's like light flares and all of our photos that we took, which is so cool. Um, so you could definitely feel the magnetic energy and just really at peace and all of the healing energy that's there. But I will say it was way harder than I expected it to be. I honestly have only hiked a few times in my life, like at all. I like to believe that at this point I train enough and I work out enough that I can keep up in this way. But we were definitely on our hands and knees, crawling down, crawling up, scaling the rocks a little bit. Um, but it was so fun. It was amazing. I'm so glad we did it. I'm so glad we did it as the first hike. And it's the first of many. We're here for a few more days and we're definitely going to do at least one trail a day. So stay tuned for that. We always match without meaning to. Coffee time. Coffee time. So tired from this morning, so it's time for some coffee. Basically, this whole 
vlog is us driving places and going to get food and coffee. <laughs> but this is where we are right now. Dandy cold brew, refreshing chicken. Oh, I don't have to Cocoa? Ice, yeah, ice cocoa. They have like a oh, wait, they have ashwagandha in them. Yeah, that one oh, is. Take your time, no worries. They're made with coconut sugar. I think I want one too. Oh my god, babe, look at the matcha bunny. I might have to get the matcha bunny. Yeah, that's actually. Or, oh my god, the peanut butter hearts. Okay, moment of truth, just went to Synergy. Chocolate, CBD, and coffee, what else could you need? I got a chai. Oh my god, it's really good. I'm gonna try it. I little got a mocha that has like real vegan chocolate in it. Oh my god, it's so good. This will wake you right up. Almond butter crunch. Sorry, I didn't think you did that much of it. No, I just, you should have all of it. Oh, yum. Wow, it's really good. <laughs> On the road again. Free people sweater dress it actually has pockets, which is awesome. And then these really cute white boots. We went to bed so early. We had dinner really early and we went to bed so early. Um, but I want to show you guys a couple of things that I brought on this trip that are being really useful to me. So I got these bloat pillows by this brand Array. And the ingredients are ginger root, bromelain, dandelion root, lemon balm, peppermint, and slippery elm. And they're just capsules and you take them after a meal and I'm really glad I brought them because they really helped, especially last night. We got like tacos and this prickly pear sorbet, which prickly pear is known to be like a big thing in Sedona, which we didn't know before, but we weren't full until like we got home and realized that we ate a lot. Like it hit us in a delayed reaction. Um, I also packed my Summer Fridays jet lag mask that I actually just got this one. I don't know if it's focusing, but I think you guys know what it is. Um, but I have the R&R &R mask, which is a little bit more of an exfoliation. This one's just really hydrating, and I actually just slept in it last night, which I think just pumps me up a little bit. Um, my skin's drier here with the dry air, but it's also just good after you like, travel and you're just lacking a little bit of hydration. And then also, I never showed what crystals I got at that Crystal Magic yesterday. So this is Aventurine, which is really good for prosperity, brings you back to balance, it connects to your heart chakra. Um, Cindy has actually told me to get this before, but I just thought this was so pretty. Will got one of these too. And then this is blue calcite. You can 
can see it. It's like this like marbly texture. And this is really good for, it's a healing stone, this type of crystal. Um, and it's, it's really calming and healing and helps with emotional support as well as it helps you like articulate your speech better, which I thought was gonna be really useful. So like when you're stressed, it kind of helps with your throat and your expression. Um, so I thought that these were two really great ones. This one just called to me and this is one I've been wanting for a while. Ooh, the light is coming, babe. Um, the sun is rising, it is 7.25 and we're gonna eat breakfast, but I'm actually gonna end off this vlog right here and start a part two of our last two days. So today is Thursday and Friday, so I'll have a separate vlog for those two. So stay tuned for part two of the Sedona Adventures and thanks so much for following along. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.